Our next story is about the wind instead of the rain, although they're usually together. When the wind stops by Charlotte Zolito, and the, the pictures are by Stefano Vitale. The great bright yellow sun had shone all day, and now the day was coming to an end. The light in the sky changed from blue to pink to a strange dusky purple. The sun sank lower into the long glowing clouds. The little boy was sorry to see the day end. He and his friend had played in the garden. When they were tired of playing, they laid down in the grass and felt the sun on them, warm and soft like a sleepy cat resting. There had been icy lemonade in the afternoon, which they drank under the pear tree. And the little boy's father read him a story on the porch before he went to bed. Now his mother came to say good night. Why does the day have to end, he asked her. So night can begin, she said. Look. She pointed out the window where high in a darkening sky, behind the branches of the pear tree, the little boy could see the pale sliver of the moon. That's the night beginning, his mother said, resting her hand on his shoulder. The night with the moon and stars and darkness for you to dream in. But where does the sun go when the day ends, the boy asked. The day doesn't end, said his mother. It begins somewhere else. The sun will be shining there when night begins here. Nothing ends. Nothing, the little boy asked. Nothing, his mother said. It begins in another place, or on a different day. The little boy lay in bed, and his mother sat beside him. Where does the wind go when it stops, she asked. He asked. It blows away to make the trees dance somewhere else. Where does the dandelion fluff go when it blows away? It carries the seed of new dandelions to someone's lawn. Where does the mountain go after the top? Down to where it becomes the valley. Where do waves go when they break on the sand? Sucked back to, into the sea, into new waves. rain go when the storm is over, into clouds to make other storms? And where do clouds go when they move across the sky to make shade somewhere else? And the leaves in the forest when they turn color and fall into the ground and become part of new trees with new leaves. But when the leaves fall, that's the end of something, the little boy said. It's the end of autumn. Yes, his mother said, the end of autumn is when winter begins. And the end of winter, the little boy asked. The end of winter, when the snow melts and the birds come back, is the beginning of spring, his mother said. And the little boy smiled. It really does go on and on, he said. Nothing ends. He looked out at the sky. The sun was com gone completely. The lovely pink clouds had disappeared. The sky was dark and purple-black. High above the branches of the pear tree shone clearly now a thin new moon. Today is over, his mother said. It's time for sleep, and tomorrow morning, when you wake, the moon will be getting a night far away, and the sun will be here to begin a new day. And that's the end.